Well, we all know Northeast Wisconsin's waterways are a prized natural resource. They sure are, and one group based in the Fox Cities is committed to protecting our lakes and rivers from pollution. And now they're looking for a thousand volunteers to help them for one very special day. Stacey Engerbretson shows us in tonight's NBC 26 Cares. The countdown is on to the sixth annual Fox Wolf Watershed Cleanup, a day when community members from Green Bay to Fond du Lac will come together to protect the health of our waterways. The tranquil waters of the Fox River, beautiful, peaceful, home to fish and wildlife. But look closer and humans have left their mark. We find lots of plastic, cans, bottles. You name it, they've discovered it. Somebody found in an entire entertainment center one year um, along with the TV. Dumped around or in the Fox and Wolf Rivers. I feel like the garbage pollution in our waterways, it upsets a lot of people and they want to do something about it. Kelly Ryer is with the Fox Wolf Watershed Alliance, a nonprofit whose mission is to protect, restore and improve the Fox Wolf River Basin. For the past five years around Earth Day, the group has held a community cleanup day. Volunteers from young All right. to old, armed with grabbing tools and protective gloves to remove trash and debris that threaten our waterways and our health. This is the most common find. A lot of people have a misconception that cigarette butts are just paper and cotton, but the filters are actually um, a type of plastic, cellulose acetate, which can take up to 10 years to break down in our environment. To help protect our planet, Darcy Morin serves as the site leader for cleanup day at Sunset Park in Kimberley. I want the world to last a really long time, so if I can instill this in every generation to come, then I feel like I'm doing my part. Morin's involvement began three years ago through her daughter Addison's Girl Scout troop. We come every year, we get really excited about it. Everyone gets t-shirts, we get this great party afterwards, and it's really, really great way to bring the community together. Last year I found a lot of people that I didn't know when I made friends with them. This year, more than 50 sites in Northeast Wisconsin are targeted for cleanup. Look, I found some glass. The event has grown from 100 volunteers to about a thousand. I'm so proud of all these people that I get excited about cleaning up, that come back year after year, that ask me, hey, when are we doing this cleanup? Or, hey, can we do another one? Um, it really, it really makes me feel good. Darcy and her children are anxious to get back at it. When a community comes together, whether it be 10 people or 50, to clean this area up, it kind of, it makes your heart happy. Knowing they're doing their part. Yeah, this is a pretty good big full, guys. To protect this natural resource. Cleanup day is April 21st. For volunteer information, go to NBC26.com. Stacey Ungebretson, NBC26. What would Northeast Wisconsin be without water? A picnic is set for Appleton's Pierce Park after that cleanup. There's a free lunch, music, bounce houses, and prizes. It's a way to say thank you to the volunteers.